SEC confrontation between Louisiana State and Mississippi State. LSU with the number one defense in the nation. Temperature 45 degrees, clear skies, and here we go. Good kick, taking a yard in the end zone and down there by lot left on first down from the 20 yard line. Fontenot goes in motion. Hilliard. Instead, it's James who gets him, gets three. It's second down and seven, slot right. Out, out. James again, looking for the first down and is stopping one out of the eye with Fontenot in motion. James is stopped. So no breeze right now. The barefooted kicker has it partially blocked, but it takes a good LSU bounce. And the net result won't be all that bad. Partially deflected, but it rolls down 37 yards. Now he's on the kick. MSU with the ball for the first time out of the wishbone from the 33-yard line. That's Michael Haddock. He is the Bulldog as a wide out for Mississippi State this season. He is in the lineup now, wide to the right on second down, and eight from the 35. Bond overthrowing the intended receiver. some pressure and incomplete in four to do the punting. Low kick, fielded up at the 27 by Lifford Hobley, who fumbles, but it's recovered by LSU back at the 28-yard line. They can move the ball offensively. They've got to shut down the Tigers. Hilliard, number 21, who was not in for the first series, is in now. Richter on a short drop, pumps, and then gets stuck at the 23 in the life of every quarterback, there is always a blind side. Watch Mike McEnany, number 66. He's coming around from the blind side right there. He had 36 tackle loss coming into today's game. Great play for him. Second down and 15. Richter on the quarterback draw. He'll do that a lot. Takes it to the 30. Third down and eight from the 31-yard line. Short drop by Richter. And the pass over the middle to Eric Martin, who is out in front. The 40, the 30, the 20. Martin to the 10, and a touchdown. 60. This is a picture-perfect slant or quick post pattern. Martin, the wide receiver on the right, down and in. The pass thrown with touch and timing. And here comes catch number 35. He came into today's game with 545 yards. And a 16.0 average, that's going to up that average quite a bit. 69-yard touchdown to wide receiver Eric Martin. Cookie Jackson was isolated on the touchdown here. Watch the footwork. There's the cut right there. The ball is thrown high. He reaches up right by Cookie. Looky, looky, there went Cookie. His fourth season here. So the Tigers kicking off, leading it 7 to nothing. It's a short kick, fielded up at the 18-yard line by Danny Knight, the wide receiver. And Knight goes at home in Baton Rouge. First and 10, Mississippi State from the 39-yard line. Bond pitching it to Haddock. Turning the corner, and out to mid you territory at the 49-yard line. First and 10, first and 10. Big to the fullback, and then the pass is complete on that last finger, the current Georgia quarterback. On first down from the 39-yard line, giving it away to Henry Kuhn. And he's in. On second down and seven from the 36-yard line, and it's Haddock who takes the pitch, gets inside the 30, and is run out of bounds at the 20. His own power, we'll get a report for you shortly. Quick read right there. Pitch to Michael Haddock. 6'3", 250, 15 pounds. This is one of the premier running backs in this part of the country. Someone up. First down, Mississippi State at the 25-yard line. Quick pass complete at the 15 to Danny Knight for the touchdown. Bob Morgan. Harrison fakes to the fullback. Part one of the triple option, and instead he goes upfield to Danny Knight, number 22, right along the sideline. Danny Daniel Dave. on the coverage. So early in the first, seven to and now Mississippi State with Dana Moore to kick off, taken at the two-yard line by Eric Martin, up the middle to the 15, the 20. 
and wrestled down near the 30-yard line. He's in there, the freshman at tailback, and act number 23. James with the ball to the short side of the field, trying to thread his way through the deep. A couple of dogs. <laughs> Second down and five from the 35-yard line. Over the right side is Gary. Bonkano is in motion on third and two, and they pick it to Gene. Gene's looking for the first down and gets it. Last year, his team three, seven, and one. Oh, the turnaround coming in 82. Richter finding his receiver is covered. Second down, small attempt from the 42. There was a movement on the right side, and the flag goes down. Richter throwing it to Fontenot to the 35, to the 30. He gets inside the 20, the 10, and goes all the way. But we had motion on the right side. So what appears to be an LSU touchdown may not be. We'll wait and see. It was Eric Martin, number 41 who started to move. He was lined up wide to the right. Martin started to move forward. The flag went down, and the touchdown won't From the 38-yard line. The draw, and some room there for Mike Munt, who pulls his way. Third down, two and a half. From the 50. James. Should have the first down. I like 26 yards. First down, Tigers. At the mid Mississippi State 46. A straight drop. Richter gets blindsided. And let's see if they call it an incomplete pass. Watch on the replay. See if the arm is coming forward right here. Richter, straight drop back pass. Now watch McEnany. Here it comes. The arm had just barely started forward at the, from the 46 yard line. Richter, quarterback draw again and nothing doing. And a clear down at 10. 46-yard line. Gene signed 7-7 seven, seven in the first quarter. They drop it off for Gene's over the middle. Has some room. Looking for the first down and get it as he moves. Your teammates at Utah. University of Utah. This is uh, James again. James fumbling, but out of bounds. If you're going to lose it. Tailback on the power pitch. Here's the contact. Now, Billy Jackson has been injured, and he's back, and he has been their most Aggressive defensive player. At the 37-yard line. A short drop by Richter, throwing over the middle into traffic and incomplete. Intended for Eric. Here's what a Tiger sandwich looks like right here. Eric Martin slams the same class that he caught the touchdown pass on. Tremendous hit right there by Bobby. Third down and 11. LSU from the 37-yard line with Fontenot in motion to the left. Off the play action, they drop it over the middle for number 80, Malcolm Scott, and he is stopped well into the end zone for the touchback. Mississippi State tied 7-7. First and 10. Bond giving it to the first man through the 10th for last week against Alabama. Second down, 10. From the 20-yard line. That's Michael Haddock, and no mystery there. Third down, 10 from the 20. Bond to the 32-yard line and a first block two in the first period today. Here's a good route, and the timing is absolutely perfect. The ball is in the air as Price makes his cut. A quick sideline by Price along the sideline. First down, Bulldogs in the 33-yard line. Pick it to Wyndham. 35 to the 40 and out to the 43 yard line. Lamar. You could almost make a case for Bond being number two, at least statistically, coming in. Enough for a first down from the 43 yard line. It's Bond under throwing. Second down, 10. It's a slippy save from the 43 yard line. Bond keeping to the 45. And then laterals it off to Haddock. And Haddock gets into LSU territory. Still behind the neutral zone, so it's legal. Part one is right there. Now watch this read on the corner by John Bond. He's coming out here. He's taking a read. He's looking. He's looking. He's still behind the line. Now the lateral you see is forward to Michael Haddock, number 26. But that's a legal play. Haddock now five carries, four yards on that play alone. First down at the 33-yard line. 
Wyndham <laughs> with some roll. In position, John Bond is that man. This is Bond in time for a first down. Inside the 10, down to the six-yard line. They've done this to LSU this season. John Bond has deceptive speed. Now remember, this guy is 6'4", 215 pounds. He has kind of a funny running style. Look at this. See how the feet kind of go out. Kind of slew footed. The Mississippi State in the first quarter alone. First and goal from the six yard line. Bond pitching it to Haddock. Touchdown. Three for the season. That placement and check it. And so a final score of 14 to 7. Absolutely picture perfect timing. Triple option football. Fake to the fullback. That's part one. Here's the read at the corner. Look at the flip to Michael Haddock. And here's the second effort as he bursts into the 14 to 7. Take the extra point. Morgan does that. James and Martin, the deep men. Another good check. And a little point shot. Montano in motion on first down from the 20 yard line. Give it away to Hilliard, the tailback, and he gets it out to the 30 yard line. Mississippi State 14 and LSU 7. Throws drop as we go to the second quarter. LSU first and 10 from their own 30 yard line. They trail by 7. And this is Dalton Hilliard, the freshman tailback, who gets wrapped. Making the stop. Second down and 11 from the. 29-yard line, and it's James to throw, but incomplete, intended for Herman. And 11 from the 29-yard line. Richer protected well, dumps it to Hilliard over the middle. He's got a first down as he gets to the 50, and to the Bulldog 45-yard line. Here is that super freshman. You're looking at a possession-type passing game here. Richer taking a deep drop, lets it clear, throws underneath the coverage. Here comes Hilliard in the open field. They love his open field running ability. Look at the cut right there. As he blows by and gets up field, Bobby Junkin, again the man, number 19, who all of them make the tackle. Broadway, this is Jesse Miles who has some rules. And he's out, French, but they can still go to a major ball. It's Miles inside the 30 and then upended at the next week, taking on Louisville tonight. On second and four, the pass is not down. Third down, four from the 29 yard line. Richter was looking toward Miles. He was covered and now gets dubbed back at the 33 yards with a attempt this one from the 39. A 49 yard attempt that is long enough but wide. His team on top, 5 7. They have the ball from the 33 yard line. And on first and 10, it is Lamar. Second down, they eight from the 35 yard line. Bond has it knocked down. The big right. Third and eight from the 35. Bond has a man open at the 47 and a first down to Corman exploited it. I told you at the very top of the show that I like John Bond because of his superior all-around athletic ability. His passes are not always an artistic success, but he got the ball there with touch and timing. Seven for 36. Bulldogs at their own 49. First and 10. Pitch it to Haddock, and he drops for a loss. A second and 14 for the Bulldogs over the bus at the 45-yard line. Young is open at the 42-yard line. Glenn Young, it's now 17-10 at the half. Mustangs ranked second coming in. Five on third and long, overshooting, who sets up at the 15-yard line. The low end over end kick. Bouncing at the 25. 10. They trail 14-7. 10 minutes to go, second quarter. Alan Richer at the helm. Gives it away to Dalton Hilliard. Scoots out past the 40 to the 40. Point back, Cookie Jackson, who is shaken up and on the bench. Easy to see why they're excited about this young freshman, number 21, Dalton Hilliard, on a counter play, a little misdirection that time. Starting to his left, the game he had 922 all-purpose yards. From the 42, 
Richter. Down to the 48 to Eric. He wants the Pro Scots to hear him. Yep. Hilliard somehow breaks one tackle. Yep. Defeating Kentucky 39 to 13. Third down and three. Hilliard again runs into traffic and it's Parker. Line drive kick, Young from the 16. Some good moves. And he's out to the 37 yard line at 21 yards. And the penalty moves it back to the 15. First down, 10. Bulldogs from the 15 yard line. John Bond guiding the whistle in our stolen offense. Henry Kunz. Most no victory like that. Second down, three from the 22 yard line. Bond flipping it out and nearly losing it. Wyndham won. Well, there just is. Third down one from the 24 yard line. Bond picks up the first, gets out past the 30, the 35, and is run out of bounds. Here you're all around athlete with the size and the speed that you love at that wishbone spot. First down and Bond for Knight, but Knight can't hold on. It's a 50 yard team with the ball and the seven point lead. Bond out past the 40 to the 43 yard line at the Mississippi State 43. It's Bond again and a first down to the 40 under the lamp. First down at the 49 yard, yard line and it's Henry Kunz taking it second down and eight from the 49 yard line. Bond pitching, and it's all Wyndham can do to make sure they don't lose. Straight drop, under pressure, and incomplete. Len 29 stands back at his own 10-yard line. Snap is good, and the kick is his best one of the day. Bounces inside the 10. And Mississippi State will pin LSU very deep. First and 10 from the eight yard line. 434 remaining in the first half. The up back, number 30. Second down and four. Richter protected well over the middle. Malcolm Scott at tackle 17. Lining up at the tight end spot, Malcolm Scott is running a, a curl in route. Now watch this. He curls in right behind the linebacker. John Miller, the man defending for the Bulldogs. And First and 10 from the 24 yard line. Richard to the 25 to Gary James coming out of the backfield. He gets to the underneath the coverage. They also love kickoff patterns. On second and six, it's Richter keeping past the 35, out to the 38, and the first down. To the air they'll go, but Richter has the ball knocked out of his hands back at the 29 yard. Here comes McEnany again, and Bobby Junkin. Junkin, the safety man. Look at this safety blitz. Well, You've got to read that blitz. Right now, McEnany and Bobby Junkin, number 19. Junkin came right up. Right tackle. Second down and 20 after a loss of 10. Richter rolling right, throwing complete out to the 40-yard line. Just in third and eight from the 41. Richter, the pass complete to James. He has the first down. Second of the pickoff is the off play. Tailback coming out. Clear us to the inside. Now, <laughs> you don't actually see contact there. But you can do a little something to distract that man. It's a pickoff play. Richter, 10 of 13 for 156. First down, quarterback draw. Richter looking for room. Has the first down and nearly broke free. Back. First down, 10. At the Bulldog 33-yard line. Richter, again, that's second and four. Legal the procedure against the offensive team. It will be. Man, let's see if they go to second and nine, and that time this is if he takes him flying through, but no flag. Fake draw. 
Good protection. And then Martin at the 10, 10 yard line. To find that open spot. Watch this execution on a deep square in route. That is about as flawless a cut and a pass as you're going to see. You talk. First down from the 11. Quarterback draw, but this time to Noah for you, Jackson. Second down, 10. Ball at the 11-yard line. Richard, the game, touchdown. From Mexico City, with a short kick and a fair catch is pulled for at the 30-yard line by first and 10 at the 31-yard line. will be content to keep it on the ground. The clock, this will be the final play of the first half. Activities after this message about an upcoming show on ABC. Yard. And also, uh, uh, with that long drive, was able to... The kick. Light breeze at his back. And it's a short kick. And a fair catch for four at the point... Gets a good block from the left guard and the left tackle. And into the secondary, meets up. Wayne Harris, the left guard, through the block that sprung Michael. First down at the 15-yard line. Nothing doing there. But from time to time, you see why it was so popular in the early 70s. On second down and 10, it's fine. For a gain of seven as he gets... But this is why you need a big, strong, physical, good athlete at the quarterback position. Look at the punishment that Bond takes right here as he really gets hit by four guys almost. Third down, three at the eight. It's Bond. He can't pitch it to Haddock. And he has seen a 24-yard kick. The whistle sounded, though, before... The lay of game offense. So the breeze is no factor. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Mississippi State 17. Gary James and Eric Martin are back deep to receive for LSU. Bring it out to the 20 yard line. LSU with the ball for the first time offensively in the second half. Alan Risher at the helm gives it to Hilliard. Big hole past the 30 and a 13-yard yard line. 8.15 to go, third quarter. Hilliard. Second down, nine from the 34. Ricky's first pass of the second half is complete to the 45-yard line to Malcolm. As he comes out from the tight end spot. First and 10, and the draw to Munch. He is into Mississippi State territory in the first half. 
On second down and four, Richard, and it's incomplete. This hit. Kenny Johnson. They try that same pickoff pass to the tailback, and that is the quintessential open field tackle. Third down and a long three from the 47-yard line. Richter overthrowing Gordon. High kick. They're going to let it go through the end. First down for the Bulldogs from the 20-yard line. John Bond, the quarterback. Watch the score. Second down, 13. MSU from the 17-yard line. Bond has the pass deflected, incomplete. Seconds to go in a third period. When you talk about Al Richardson, you're talking about one of the premier linebackers in all of college football. Career tackles, good agility, speed from the 17-yard line. Giving it away to Wyndham, looking for room. He gets out to the 27-yard line. 28. Good high kick. His best effort of the day and a fair catch to the 25-yard line for Hobley. 24 points per game. They've already yielded 17. LSU on offense here, trailing by three as Richter hits James. For the Bulldogs. Second and nine from the 26. Richter gets protection. To the 36-yard line to Malcolm Scott. And he took his 34 pounds. Malcolm Scott, from his tight end position, takes an outside release. He, he comes around the linebacker. He curls in. There's the ball right again. Alan Richard right on the numbers. Bobby Junkin is number 19. Hits the first hit. And you see the power of that big off tight end, Malcolm Scott. Gain of 20, first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Wide open in Bulldog territory is Mike Munch, but he fumbles the ball. I've thrown a personal foul. Richard, straight drop back action. Now watch the fullback, number 30. Now he's going to scramble. He makes that quick move to his left. There's Munch out in the flat. Open field now. John Miller, number 17. Gary Lambert, number 29, on a sandwich block. And I don't know. That's a very questionable call. First and 10. Richter calls his own number. Gets another personal foul. Period. Richter trying to be heard above the din. Gives it to the up back. Mike Munt. Richter. Throwing. And a little more than seven from the eight-yard line. Fontenot in motion, and Richter goes down. Richter tripped over. Straight away. away. And the kick is good. Two fifths in one full, six in the other. The kick is fielded just inbounds, and then he took choice here. Let's see. Let's watch his right foot and see if it hits the chalk. See it? See the toe right there on the chalk. Yep. Rogers is one of the up men. He's at the 25. The kick in that direction, but longer this time. And the bouncing ball is fielded by Young at the 11. Out to 20, 25, 30. And to the, at their own 31-yard line. Junior John Bond to Haddock with a big hole and to the 44 and a first first down Bulldogs from the 44. Come on, Kunch started off the strong, trying to snap a 16 losing streak today on second down and six. It's Wyndham Brown. About four times as much as LSU has been yielding all season. And we're only in the third period. It is Haddock getting the ball. And he gets inside the 45 for a... The old Statue of Liberty play out of the wishbone. See it? Here comes Michael. Left hand. Take it, Mike. 
Go wide. Get me the first down. He does. Commercial message and a word from your local station. Of Northeast Mississippi, we start the fourth quarter. We're tied 17-17. Mississippi State from the 44-yard line, and the ball is loose Bumble. and recovered by LSU. John Bond slips right, right there. His left foot gets intertwined with the center, just as we saw Richer a moment ago. He's trying to get it off to Lamar Wyndham. There's the fumble right there. Eric Kenny for the recovery, and Richard to the draw play on his first call on the first play of the fourth period. Second and nine. The short drop by Richard, and he throws to the illegal motion. Richard hit as he throws, but gets it off to Hilliard. Third down, 12 from the 41. Over the middle to Hilliard. He escapes Lambert's would be tackle, but then he is stopped. Six last week against Alabama. Clay Parker with a kick. This one's a beauty. Young Stevenson fields it from the eight yard line to the 10 and is bumped down at the 15. So game to be determined at 3.30 Eastern time. Mississippi State starting this drive from the 16-yard line, and Johnny Bond wants to put it up. Over the middle, it's tipped in complete. 10 from the 16-yard line. Bond pitching it to Wyndham. Out past the 20. Tackled at the 20. Haddock trying to turn the corner does first down 30 35 yard line it is like a triple option clinic look at this timing I'm telling you that read was absolutely perfect the lead on the pitch was great now watch the block by Wyndham right there on the corner Michael Haddock Michael Haddock down the side line. there he goes he tries today first down Nothing there. Henry Kuhn. Freshman, 57. Second down, 10 at the 36-yard line. Bond throwing, and Knight can't one-hand it. Almost. What you're talking about here is a near touchdown as Knight coming on his favorite route, the straight-up pattern along the sideline. He gets to the LSU 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. What a day for him. Two touchdowns for Danny Knight, number 22. Good fake to the left, then the turnaround back to the right, and there he is on the sidelines alone, number 22, Danny Knight. Tim Jordan Pointer, the outside linebacker, is the last man to get his shot at him. Then Leopard Hobley, and then the touchdown. Now, the extra point attempt by Dana Moore is... Knight is isolated here. Knight all alone, you see him. He just goes by Joyner, number 92, takes the ball along the sideline. Now, the last man right there to get a shot at him is number 29, Lippert Hopley, right there. Two catches, 90 yards, two. Team Bulldogs by seven. Nephew. Deep and downed. Fontenot in motion for the Tigers from the 20-yard line. And Richard starts to drive by giving it to James, and he's wrapped up at the top. Richard to James. He's out of bounds. 9.53 left in the game. It's James. Gets the first. Four back deep for the Bulldogs. Some movement, but everybody gets back on side. The long count as LSU tries to draw Mississippi State off, but they don't. And Parker gets the kick away. And it's fielded at the 40-42 yard line. Elmer Wilson is in the game at right half in the wishbone. 
to throw it. Looking for Knight, and he's covered well this time. Eugene again, isolated. You see that step-by-step -step coverage right there as Eugene Daniel, number 35, just races along. He knows where he is. He knows where the ball is. He knows the position of the wide receiver on the fly. Jonathan Bulldogs from the 42. Bond keeping. Stopped at the 46-yard line. Bond, he has the first down. Two year, third and six, keeps the drive going. John Bond on the short side keeper play. See how he reads the corner. Now he gets that ball in his left hand very securely. 8.07 to go. Mississippi State at the LSU 45-yard line. Bulldogs lead by seven. They just pull it. 40, 35, 30 to the 28-yard line. Almost as if Emory Ballard is giving a clinic out here today against the number one rated defense in all of college football. There's Coots on part one of the triple option play going right over his right guard, cutting back across the grave into the open field. Number 35, Eugene Jenner is finally making the tackle. Uh, first and 10 from the 28-yard line. Bond. Second down, eight. Bulldogs at the Tiger 26-yard line. Michael Haddock. Third down, seven. Wyndham. And Burns wraps him up. Jake in the worst ball because he took a real hit. 41-yard attempt it is going to be short. It was on line 10 for LSU from the 24-yard line. The Tigers with the ball trailing by seven. Richter. The month from the 36-yard line. Richter going over the middle. It's complete to Malcolm Scott. And the passing to the department. Once again, that big tight end, Malcolm Scott, on a play that's been effective all afternoon for him. It's a simple curl in route where he takes either an inside outside release, and that time he catches the ball in his hands, reaches back for it. Great play by the tight end. Richard, 294 yards through the air today. First down from the 44 yard line. Thrown out here, left side to Eric Martin. A yard and a half and a half to go from the 35-yard line. The up back gets it. It's Munch with a big hole. He's inside the 10 and a touchdown. Quick, watch the trap. The left guard pulls. Munch, the fullback, goes through the hole, starts to his right, back to his left. Great opening. And there he bursts into the open field and into the end zone. Mike Turner, the key block. They line up for the extra point. And goes through it. Football back, and with that type of passing attack, they can always go to the hurry up offense and put another three points or more on the board. Short kick. It's fielded by Danny Knight, who has scored two touchdowns today. By 20 through the course of the season in the fourth period. That's all history, though, right now. First half from the 27 yard line. They start the. Second down eight from the 29 yard line. Get outside. Got a clip. That is contact from behind. Any contact from behind constitutes clip. 24. At the 14 yard line. Michael Haddock spins to the 19 yard line. Third down at 17. to the 25, they'll lose the tackle, and then get it out to the 31, but they're shy of Jeffrey Dale. That's Dale. Let's see what the call is. Did he signal timeout? He did. High snap, but he gets it away, and a fair catch called for at the 27 yard wow. line to the left. Back 
takes the pass. Mike Munch. Second and six. Knocked down. Third and six, and Richards takes the game tied with 1.56 to go. Alan Richard is back to pass. Protection is breaking down. Gets it away, it's knocked away. Underdog, depending on what computer printout, what worksheet you read. Ray Parker with a low Line drive kick, fielded up at the 34 by Lambert to the 50 and out of bounds at the 44-yard line. And they have all three timeouts remaining. Defense and field position were the things that Emery Ballard stressed yesterday when we talked to him. You see Lambert getting knocked up early. First down, Bulldogs at the Tiger 44-yard line. Pitch it to Wyndham. The 40, the 35, Wyndham to the 30-yard line. But we also have a big penalty here. Uh -oh. Fouls, no loss of down, and it's first and nine. Bond throwing complete to Aldridge. Timing pass is what it is. Right over the head there of number 99. Belancon right there leaves on the field. The scoreboard clock is not functioning at the moment. First down at the 29-yard line, and that's Michael Haddock. Second down, 10 from the 29. That's Kuntz. Third and nine from the 28-yard line. Bond falls on it. They're going to settle for the field goal is what it amounts to. So it's right in front of the goalpost, 45-yard attempt. The spot is good, the kick is up, and the kick is good! Dana's kick will come down to the 11-yard line. Gene, who initially looked like he wanted to pitch back, gets out. He's also been effective as a runner over the six carries 18 yards, and what a day he's had. Richard dropping it, and recovered by Mississippi State. You talk about a textbook game plan. Emory Ballard told us the key would be defense. Here comes the pressure. Here comes the pressure on Alan Richard. All the way, it's number 91, Billy Jackson. Football! Calvin Zander comes after the play. Yeah. Okay. Because all of the users, you know that Bond is just going to fall down on the ball here, and they'll run out the clock. Down he goes. That could be the last play of the game. Good job. They had the key defense.